Welcome to another Discover Bible Prophecy. Today we're going to discover a truth for today. For our per perusal, we're going to be talking about a situation that occurred in Habakkuk's day. And it closely mirrors our condition today. You should read Habakkuk in the Bible. It's only three chapters long, and it won't take you very long to read it. The book of Habakkuk reveals that the nation of Judah was quite corrupt. The man, Habakkuk, is upset that God would allow such wickedness to continue unabated. He asks God what he plans to do about it, this tremendous increase of decadence. And God tells him, but first he says, Look at the nat nations and watch and be utterly amazed, for I am going to do something in your days that you would not believe even if you were told. That's quite a statement, isn't it? That you would not believe even if you were told. From the pen of Habakkuk, Jeremiah, and Ezekiel, we learn that God sent a destroyer nation, the kingdom of Babylon, against Judah because the cup of its iniquity was full. In Ezekiel chapter 5, God even reveals the number, two-thirds who would be killed at that time. God has unsealed the visions of Daniel and Revelation for us today so that we might understand his plans for a world that has spiraled down, down, down. Just as in Habakkuk's day, the vision is unbelievable to most, even when they are told. God has revealed his coming judgments. He has revealed that fully half of the population of the earth is going to die during the first seven trumpets, plagues. He has told us about the destroyer nation that he is going to unleash on the earth in the fifth trumpet, which is really the devil and his angels coming out of the abyss. These events are rapidly approaching. Each day we draw a day closer to the appointed time. If God's people were truly to study and to understand the overwhelming surprise that is coming, there would be a tremendous revival and soul-searching that would be going on. The impact of these coming events cannot be overstated. The world has seen nothing like what is about to take place since the days of Noah. So many billions are about to be thrust into eternity, and pastors, leaders, and church members do not seem to have a clue, although really they should. Many today await a religious enforcement law to be passed, not understanding that God's incredible massive judgments must come first as a catalyst for religious laws to be passed. Did you know that God's judgment does not depend on who is elected President of the United States or which political party is in control? Many Christians today actually believe and teach that God is totally passive and would never kill anyone. To them, God says, At that time I will search Jerusalem with lamps and punish those who are complacent, 
who are like wine left in its dregs, who think, the Lord will do nothing, neither good nor bad. That's found in Zephaniah 1.4. And as it is written in Habakkuk 2 verse 3, For the revelation awaits an appointed time. It speaks of the end and will not prove false. Though it linger, wait for it. It will certainly come and will not delay. Let those who have ears hear. I pray that you have received a blessing from today's study. Remember Jesus' words in Revelation 22, verse 7. Look, I am coming soon. Have faith in God.